okay, my Geminis, moon, sun, and rising. When it pertains to your love life, I feel like you guys definitely had some type of tower moment or you are going through some type of tower moment within your love life. This could be finding out someone was not being honest with you. This could be um, finding out that, you know, if you were with a person, this person cheated or there was something that someone was not being honest. I'm getting a feel. I feel like some of you, you could have been dealing with somebody and they were in a relationship or they were, um, they were in a relationship or they were, they, um, if they wasn't per se in a relationship relationship, they could have still been dealing with like their baby father or their baby mom. And it's like, I feel like it stressed you out and it hurt you to the core. And I feel like some of you may be stressed out and beating yourself up because you had a feeling about this, but it was like you kept ignoring it. And right now you are in the process of healing. You're in the process of pouring back into yourself. You're in the process of... Um, accepting things for what they are and I feel like some of you may be in a process of cutting this particular person off here or you're trying to get to that point because like I feel like for some of you you may be like I'm getting it like addicted to this person like it's something about this person that you just cannot just up and leave them alone so it's like a healing process it's just like a a process in general um, getting that you are trying to do to move forward um, well, I feel like you will get there it's just like like I said it, it takes time but you will be moving forward and you will be letting go emotionally um, it's just a matter of time things are going to change um, I feel like this person is going to try to come back and try to say things like oh um you know whatever try to make up words and scenarios and try to gaslight you and manipulate you to think that oh no it's not really this and all of that so it's just a thing of you trusting and believing that it is what it is like it is what it is you were lying to me. Things weren't, you know, things just, no. Um, like, things were just, like, for some of you, I feel like this relationship, this connection was just built on lies. And that's why it's hurting you to the core. Because it's like certain things, certain truths that you find and out is like stuff that <clears throat> you're like, dag, like... You was lying from the week, like so. You lied about that too, and you lied about that. So it's just like, well, what, what was you, what was you being honest about? Um, you with you, some of you felt like this person was going to be your forever person. This person was going to be that person that you got, you was going to marry, and you were going to have the, the, you know, family, whatever, if that's what you wanted. But I'm getting a vibe that like you guys were talking about the future. You guys were planning um, for the future, talking about having kids, naming the kids, like doing the most. But in reality, this person is kind of feeling stuck, stuck in the connection, stuck in a relationship and stuck between you and whatever this lie was that they were living, if that makes sense. And it's like you are saying goodbye. Well, you're in the process of saying goodbye. Um, and it's kind of hurting you too because I feel like you may have introduced this person to your kid. Not your kid. We all, I wasn't going to say kids, but you could. Have. If you have kids, you could invite. You could have invited, not invited this person to your kids. I didn't mean to say it. You could have introduced this person to your kids, your family, and your close friends. And it's like they mesh so well together that everything just seems so perfect 
but some way or another you you got some new some information that is just just brought the shit down like this shit is fucking me up you see my energy is not even the same as it was but some of the other readings not even Taurus but it's okay Gemini because I see that there is going to be some stable connection some stable um relationship that's going to come once after you're done healing you you, you need to heal first you need to Go through. You need to go through this process. I'm hearing therapy for some of you. You need to go to therapy to get yourself together, so that you're not bringing drama from this situation into something new. Because especially, like I'm saying, it's this stable relationship that is coming in, you don't want to bring that. You don't want that person to pay for things that this person that you are in the you are in the situation with you don't want to bring it to the next relationship you want to bring love and stability in this next connection like you don't want to be feeling like you can't trust anybody or you can't trust this person like you want you don't want to be like this okay like you see how she's just looking at like trying to see what she's doing on her phone and all of that you don't want to be like this moving on to the next relationship. You want to have some type of connection. You want to have some trust there. You want to build things on mm -hmm, a firm ground, firm foundation. Sorry, not ground. But right now, you're here. You have to heal. Um, for some of you, um, uh, it's going. It's, it's even going to take you back to your childhood, like this situation triggered something um within you but you are strong you're going to get through this it's just a thing of you taking things day by day step by step and stop beating yourself up but i do feel as though this is this situation triggered certain things that you may have going on within you um from your childhood your past you know? yeah so it's definitely a need to heal um, don't cry over spilled milk. Don't try to rush the process. Don't try to rush anything. Just take your time with healing. Take your time with getting over a person. Um, see things from a different perspective. Look at this as a learning lesson. Don't feel as though like, oh man, I wasted my time. No, you learned the lesson from dealing with this person. You learned the lesson from this connection. And now you are healing, and as you heal, you're going to attract new partners, new opportunities, new new love. Like that's gonna be fulfilling for you and passion. Um, this could be a new beginning with the earth sign that could happen in the future. And I feel as though this person is going to be loyal to you. This person is going to, you know give you the things that this person in the past or recent past or whatever you whoever you're dealing with right now that you're trying to get over like you're not gonna have to deal with that but you have to let this person go completely because it's like they're gonna come in they're gonna want to keep they're gonna want to keep hold on you see how he's holding on to that and she's trying to go you're gonna have to let this person go because this person is is about a whole bunch of games okay but stability is coming. You just have to heal first. You have to heal. Like, I, I don't know what else to say besides that. But once you do heal, you will find that success. Don't try to find a rebound. Heal first, please. Heal. Get over this and heal, okay? Well, I hope this resonates with somebody. Um, If you want to... Book a personal reading. The link is in my bio. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ugh.